Hey everybody and welcome back to Tens of Motorsports. These M3 Napa leather seats need a little bit of love. They're actually in really good condition. We went over these in a previous video and I thought today would be a perfect opportunity for me to show exactly what I do to make sure that my leather seats in my E46s and all my other BMWs stay in excellent condition. Every time I get a new car, whether it's a BMW or not, I end up taking the interior part to where this M3 actually is right now. And if you don't already know, we're doing an S54 swap into a wagon. That's why these M3 seats are out of the M3. They will eventually go into the wagon after it's been painted. I remove all of the interior and we vacuum and shampoo the carpets and clean the seats and everything that is able to fit in the kitchen sink gets taken inside and washed just like you would your dishes. This is the best way to detail your car. It takes a very, very long time to do this process when you go this deep into it, but you get much better results than just taking it somewhere and dropping it off and leaving them $100 or so to go through your car. Whether it's the Napa leather or the vinyl seats, this process should work for everything. So instead of just grabbing some generic soap and then going and getting some generic leather conditioner from your auto parts store, I'll show you exactly what we're gonna be using. So let's start with cleaning them. We're gonna be using some Super Clean. Now I just recently started using this stuff it is extremely powerful. To clean interior components like we're doing today, it's one part super clean and eight parts water, which is diluted a lot. Uh, even for like doing concrete, it's one part super clean and three parts water. Uh, I'll have the chart linked in the description. If you are using this, uh, make sure that uh, you're, you're diluting it properly because this comes full strength is very powerful. Now I moved my concentrate over to a cheaper bottle just from the dollar store uh, because I like the way that this bottle feels. So I have the pre-mixed stuff here and then here is the concentrate. So we'll be using the super clean bottle. We'll just kind of go over it. I have a cloth here that uh, has a little bit different, a little bit more intense fabric on the one side. The other thing that is on the instructions on this kind of stuff, when you're doing uh, leather or vinyl or any interior stuff where you want to make sure it looks good, test in a spot that's inconspicuous first. So oftentimes on the bottom of these seats, there's leather that's been stretched and, and pulled into the middle. I haven't taken a look underneath these seats yet, but I'm going to test this somewhere inconspicuous. And we'll be doing that just to make sure I don't spray it on the leather and then I have the mixture wrong because uh, that would be really bad. And like I said, this stuff is extremely powerful in its concentrated form. And then after we super clean the seats, we're going to be using some Luxol. Uh, this was recommended to me by somebody who used to do upholstery here locally. Uh, he ended up fixing one of my 330 seats. I had a rip like right here in the bolster. I got them taken over to him and cleaned up and they were really dry. And this is what I've been using. So this is leather cleaner. So you would use this after your super clean. And then this is the leather conditioner, which is designed to follow up behind the leather cleaner by Luxol. So those are the three fluids we're gonna be using today to get these seats all done up. Now these seats won't be going into the wagon for quite a while at this point, but I don't like doing a bunch of leather cleaner and conditioner and then getting into the seat immediately. I'd like to do this all up and just let them sit for a little bit. These are actually, like I said before, in really good soft condition. Let's pull out the super clean, get these things wiped down and get them prepped for our Luxol. So here we are underneath the seat. We're gonna be using some of this leather right here to test my mixture. Just make sure that I did it properly based on the chart that they gave me. Wiping it off and making sure that it doesn't stain the leather or anything like that. Like I said, this stuff is absolutely awesome. I'm not trying to scare anybody, but this stuff is very strong. Please read the instructions. All right, this is exactly what we wanted to see. I'm very happy with this. You can see that it's cleaned and started to pull the moisture out. Let's get this seat sprayed down and wiped down the rest of the way. Once this is clean the rest of the way, we'll pull the Luxol out and go through that process.
All right, everybody, we're gonna end it here. Um, I was gonna do bowl seats, but I can't sit down and do the outro if I put a bunch of leather conditioner on this seat here. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I don't like doing all this cleaning and leather conditioner and then just get right back into the vehicle. Uh, I, I'm not sure how well that does with the seat, like you're, you're wiping a bunch of it off and then it gets on you. So this seat here has just been super cleaned and this one has been super cleaned, leather cleaned, and then the leather conditioner. And I think it looks fantastic. I wish I really could show uh, in person what this looks like. We were really worried that buying such a cheap M3, we'd get seats that were just completely destroyed. And so to have two seats in really good condition, and this being the driver's seat, uh, it's used every single time the car has been driven. So the last 150,000 miles, somebody has been in this seat. The passenger seat can, obviously it can go its entire lifetime without ever being sat in. So this bolster here on the inside of the driver's seat is actually in worse condition condition than this entire seat, even on the outside. So for it to look this good with just cleaning it up and putting some conditioner on it, I think it's absolutely awesome. So I've used Luxol for years and years, but this being the first time using Super Clean to, to prep leather seats for leather conditioner, I wanna talk a little bit more about that I was really impressed with it. I didn't have to use that much to clean this off. Previously, I would just use a bucket of like warm water and soap, uh, maybe like some Dawn or something like that. The downside of that is you were making the seat really wet and then there was soap suds and stuff like that all over the seat that you had to make sure you got off. And this being a spray bottle where you can just kind of spray it and then wipe it down, I think it came with a lot less problems than having a basically a mop bucket full of soap and, and uh, warm water. Whether you're doing leather like this, uh, a whole bottle, if you were mixing this one part super clean, eight parts water, just the standard 32 ounce bottle would last you so long. You could do so many cars with it. And for it to be as versatile as it is, I think that's really cool. Barbecue grills, lawn mowers, tractors, chainsaws, and other farm equipment, shop equipment, marine bilges, and diesel and exhaust stains. So it's really cool to have that versatility where on one side you're cleaning farm equipment and then on the other side you're cleaning something as delicate as Napa leather from a BMW interior. So I'm gonna to continue to use the Super Clean on the rest of the wagon. So this would be the door cards, the dash, the rear seats, which are vinyl, the rear seats in that car are vinyl. Uh, so this will be the leather two front seats and then the center console will be leather as well. Uh, that we're moving from the M3 over to the wagon, as well as the shift boot and the e-brake boot. And we'll be doing the same process. We'll be cleaning them all up with some super clean and then going through and putting the Luxol conditioner on it. So thanks everybody so much for watching. At this point, I do absolutely recommend super clean. Everything I use today will be linked in the description below. Check out our Patreon link. $1 a month can get you early ad-free access of our content. We are still doing a giveaway at 10,000 subscribers. Make sure you follow our Instagram to be entered into that. That's all you have to do is follow and you will be entered. We'll be taking a random name from the list of followers. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.